Hey guys, it's Molly here and this is just a quick, concise yet detailed tutorial on how to start out the Motorola Notopia modem, this one here. Uh, this A lot of people actually don't know how to start out, how to get online on Xbox or Playstation. And to be honest, Aircom's tech support for it is absolutely crap, I've had to deal with it. I also have another, I'll have another tutorial on how to start out their newest one, the Zyzel one, uh, up soon. But I think we'll stick to this one for now. Uh, what I'm going to go through is just basically how to just get it up and running and a few extra steps if that doesn't work for you. So we'll start off by just opening up your web browser as you probably know how to do. If you don't know how to do that then you really shouldn't be here. But um, we're going to just go straight up into the URL bar at the top of your browser and we're going to enter in 192.168.1. That 254 and that should bring you to your start page for your Motorola modem network modem whatever and at the connection information you'll have a load of stuff like your IP address and your DNS servers and I just have mine censored there just I don't know if they're unique to me I just didn't want to take a chance so you'll have all this information in front of you you sign in yourself and you'll have all your information there too and the first thing that we want to go over on the left hand side is firewall and hit firewall and that will bring us to our, the firewall page and if you're like me and you haven't went at it before you'll see that your firewall setting will be on medium which just basically allows a, a level of firewall protection that if you read it yourself it allows your information to be sent securely to the internet but doesn't allow anyone else on the internet to, f to find out where you are and where you're from and all that jazz basically uh, so what we want to do is we want to take from that medium and bring it down to low so that it allow if you look at the last sentence of the low paragraph it'll allow a NAT default server and what a NAT default server will allow is online gaming basically so now that the, we've had the setting allowed for a NAT default server what you want to do is just hit save changes so now it's set to low and we want to go straight over to custom services on the left hand side so in custom services you want to make sure that basically custom services if you see up on the top is just the network address translation NAT, uh, which allows online gaming so we want to make sure at the top part there that uh, the enable NAT button is ticked and it's allowing the gaming services so you can see there it tells you basically what it does it has to be allowed it has to be on to support gaming online and whatever so basically once that's ticked you can go away and check your xbox run a test if it allows you to connect online then that's all you don't need to watch any further but if you're still having trouble uh keep watching i'll throw in a few more uh steps that you can do to ensure that you'll get online so once you'll stay on this page for a few minutes and if you're still having trouble we want to go over down to the drop down box beside service name and just scroll down all the way down to the bottom and hit Xbox Live 360. Now what you want to do is you want to make sure that you only have two devices connected to your network at this time. You want to make sure that you have your Xbox, the one that you want to sort out, and the computer which I have here. So I'm going to have my computer and my Xbox just connected to the modem and nothing else. So I'm going to click Xbox Live 360 and we're going to click the enable button on the right side. So in the drop down box for your host device we want to just make sure that our two devices that come up, the Brian PC which is this PC here that I'm on now and this IP address which is my Xbox's IP address. So of course we're going to want to click the Xbox's IP address so we just click that and hit enable and that should sort that out for you. So you want to run another test and see if that's working for you make sure you can connect to your friends and whatever if that's working that's great uh, but if you're still having a small bit of trouble we want to just make sure that DHCP is enabled so we want to go over to expert mode on the left hand side just click yes enter expert mode and that will bring up uh, a few extra settings on the left hand side so the first thing to get to where I am now is you want to click configure on the left hand side that will bring up four options in the left pane connection LAN WAN wireless and advanced so we want to click advanced and then click THCP server so all you want to do here you don't want to mess around with anything we just want to make sure that you have everything is exactly the same as what I have here and you want to make sure down at the bottom that your DHCP server is enabled 
and then just hit save changes if it's not if it is and everything looks the exact same as the way I have it here just leave it alone it's fine you don't need to go messing with it so that's pretty much it that's all I have and it's worked for me and it took me ages to figure out what it is and I believe that this is actually 10 times better than any bit of advice you'd ever get off Aircom tech support so here's your tech support for free here and it's quick and easy and if any of your friends are having trouble collecting online be it this modem here uh, the Motorola one or the Zizel one uh, I'll put a link at the end of this video which you can probably see now uh, for the Zizel one um, if you're still having trouble connecting just leave a comment at the bottom of the video and I'll get back to you and I'll try and figure out what's wrong and I'll get back to you as soon as possible to sort it out and it should be grand from there uh, thanks for watching the video don't forget to leave a comment or don't forget to leave a comment if you're having trouble or give it a thumbs up if you feel it helped you because it does help me out a lot receiving feedback whether uh, things I can approve on uh, maybe something I left out or maybe you just want to thank me so nice for watching the video I uh, really hope I help you out thanks